The chaos of the Home Office is today exposed by David Neal, who has himself been sacked, because that's what you do with a whistleblower, it seems, in the present government. You sack the person who has told the truth, or at least exposed yet another problem. I think there are buckets of problems to be exposed, like buckets of blood to be poured out from the Home Office. Um, out, out, damn spot. The whole point about Lady Macbeth's um, hand-washing scene, her, her nightmare, her sleepwalking, is that it's all a big metaphor for guilt. Spot. We are spotless if we are guiltless, if we don't have sin. Uh, otherwise, it's all about uh, two Peter and numbers, and it's biblical quotations, the idea of these spots, these stains and the Home Office is stained to high heaven with incompetence and with guilt. It is guilt-ridden. And James Cleverly, of course, is very annoyed that a former army officer, somebody who's actually done the real job that James Cleverly pretends to be doing, uh, should be leaking uh, details, two details, in fact, two, uh, two details on either side of the system. One, that there are private jets hundreds of private jets uh, coming into the UK, bringing uh, illicit migrants, presumably who can pay a great deal of money, and on the other hand, uh, care workers who are coming into the UK as care workers, and then because they're being paid so little, taking other work as well, or, or, or quitting the care work, because they are, are under the... Um, under the sponsorship scheme, you come in, you are dependent on the person who sponsors you, the company who sponsors you, which may not be very nice. So then how do you transfer that? It's very difficult to transfer from one sponsor to another. There's something fundamentally wrong with that scheme. The word scheme is well chosen in that sentence, by the way. Yvette Cooper says this is a system in chaos. Of course it is, but it's been in chaos for years. It's been in chaos certainly since Theresa May imposed her um, hostile environment, not only hostile to migrants, hostile to uh, people naturally here in the UK, hostile to the entire department. Alistair Carmichael from the Lib Dem. Uh, th there are 15 unpublished reports about Home Office incompetence which have not not been seen. They've not, they've not, um, uh, they're, 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 they're not open to investigate. 15! Fifteen? What, what, exact, what oversight exactly does the Home Office have if, if there's so many reports which remain unpublished in one of the major um, ministries of state? This is, this is utter, utter chaos. They can't process people's applications for asylum. They don't know what they're doing. You try and get a passport, and it doesn't follow the routine you think you you, uh, you you expect it to follow. It takes forever, and when you when you finally get your passport, it's not quite what you expected. You've had conversations on the phone with various people who have airs and graces. They they offer you assurances, and it's as if the conversation never took place. The whole system is shot to pieces from beginning to end, and as I say, when a real army officer who's been called in as the immigration watchdog blows the whistle the fake army officer James Cleverly dismisses him and presumably dismisses him uh, in uh, in as cavalier way as Kemi Badenoch dismissed um, Stratton 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 Staunton. Really Staunton. There we go. I, find, I finally got it. I think names are eluding me at the moment. It doesn't really matter. Names are sort of almost interchangeable um, because it's just one person after another. It's like a whole catalogue. It's like a, a, a row of dominoes and they're all falling. Uh, you know, does it matter what the name is? Not hugely. Just one after another. Almost nameless individuals. They're all victims to this government chaos.